40 odd cars all lined up. I think we found the fault. That one over there was actually loose and we had play in it. He's got a flat tyre. You can't fix the tyre like that, mate. Welcome back to another episode of The Focus. Uh, today we are at Snetterton. Uh, so we got here last night after a four hour drive, M25. Love it. <laughs> so we tucked in, we had a bit of a barbecue last night, set stuff up and that. Boys are here, good morning boys. Morning everyone. Uh, you look like they had an awesome sleep. <laughs> well, I'll spoon next to you, so. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty warm, so. But anyhow, so, it's, what's the time? 20 to seven now. Scrutiny is from 7 to half 7 and I've got driver briefing at 20 to 8. So we get that sorted and underway. Um, and then Collie's at 9, first out. So um, we'll see how we get on with that. Obviously we kind of need to see how uh, how the repairs have sorted out and see how the repairs have, see if they hold up and see how we get on. But yeah, so I'll catch you shortly for that. Here we go there boys, we've been called Here up to go. assembly. Steph, any final words? Uh, let's send it. <laughs> Jay? Yep, send it. Send it. Oh, I don't know why I'm sat at this very awkward angle, but here we go. Okay, so it's time for some noise testing. Uh, this will be interesting, because uh, you may have seen, Steph's completely gutted his, his Scorpion exhaust. So uh, let's see how he gets on with this one. How about that, mate?
last overall. Very quick session, got it down to a two minute 17. Very, very busy track though. To we'll, uh, we'll tie him with him in a minute when he comes back in. We'll just grab his pressures um, and then see see what he thinks. What are the tire pressures, Jay? 30, 30, 29, 28.5. So not too bad. Happy with that then. So he ended up doing a 2.13. We'll cut through it. Yeah, so he ended up doing a 2.13, which put him fifth in class. Um, fourth in class is about half a second up the road, and then third in class is about a second up the road. So that's, that's room for improvement. So that's good effort. We'll see ya. We're going to have a debrief with him. And yeah, see what he reckons. See if we need to make any changes. Long old lap. It's already hot. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Crushed on a bike. It's still beautiful though. Oh, it's lovely, it yeah. We, nice we can't complain. It could be worse. It could be raining. Right, team, so after quality report, uh, went well. Um, so the lap times, there's definitely more lap time in me personally. Um, 100%, I, I, can, I can go quicker. It's not the car holding me back whatsoever. First few laps, obviously, it was a bit tentative getting tyre temp, etc. And I was the whole time keeping an eye on the gauges. Obviously, it's the first time we've been out since putting the head on and all that stuff so just keeping an eye on things hoping don't see anything untoward um, so I was very cautious on that the whole time or we'll stuck behind a Fiesta for a little bit but uh, we've got a half decent lap time in I think in the end um, but yeah a few things to sort out we had a bit of a I think we had a bit too much Paris and fluid in so we had a little uh, not a leak but obviously it's just overfilled a bit and, and, and vented out so Joe's just been cleaning that up um, got a little knock from underneath, so we're just going to check that. I think something's loose somewhere. So we'll tighten that up, chuck some fuel on it. Um, we go hell for leather in a race, so uh, we'll see you then. Right there, so the call has come. Race one, modified boards, two assembly. Jay's just having a quick look underneath because uh, it has come forward like half an hour, 45 minutes ish. So Jay's going to have a quick look. Steph was complaining, there's a bit of a knock under the car on certain circumstances. So Jay's going to have a quick look at that. Um, but yeah, the paddock and everyone will now start livening up. Getting down to assembly, getting ready for race one. The sun is absolutely belting down right now. Um, so we dropped two PSI out the front of the car. The back came in under pressure from qualifying anyway, so we've left that be. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot hotter out there now. Uh, obviously more rubber down on the track. Fun Cup have been out there. Everyone's qualified now, so we are the first race of the day. This will be the call up now, I'm sure. And yeah, we'll just yeah, so we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll get these bits finished um, and then we'll get him out. We'll get him out, ready for race one. Oh, driver. Yeah. Interview before you go. You ready? Ready. Race one? Race one coming up. Expectations? Uh, forwards. Uh, I don't always see. I would like to, I'd like to get up with Rob, just have a good race with him. Um, and we'll see how we get on. There's some fast stuff in our class. They, fourth would be nice if no one breaks down. If some people break down, then we may be on for a podium. But I think I think a podium with no one breaking down is going to be a bit of a push for this weekend because they're pretty quick. But you never know. We'll see what happens, eh? That's it. Go for Let's it. Go. So that is 40 odd cars all lined up on the, on the start finish straight at Snetterton. They're off the two green flag lamps. There'll be a rolling start, so there'll be an almighty thunderous sound across the Snetterton uh, wildlife in just a minute. It's a two minute ish lap, so we'll come back in a second as they start and then we'll make the mad dash to the pit lane. away and racing here they come then the lights are out 15 minutes on the clock starts to count down and it's a battle between Tommy Field and Steve Scott and Woody into the first quarter but will we go down Tommy Field then and uh, leads them through Scott and Woody in second position looks like Jack Gant uh, who has been in the third place is now actually having a little bit of the inside of Steve Scott and Woody for second and I think will take the second place so uh, Jack Gant on his toes here at the start of the race 
they funnel down through the Wilson hairpin. This can often be a bit of a pinch point on the opening lap, but driving standards in modified Ford, always impeccable. And Okay, lap one done. Where is he, Jay? Currently 19th, fifth in class. Cool. So he's still holding fifth in class. He's gone backwards four positions, but there is a lot of fast cars around him. So hopefully, well, maybe he had a moment. Who knows? The onboard will tell us. I'm sure he'll tell us when he gets back. But yeah, race race is well underway. How long we got left? 11 minutes. So yeah, because of the two green flag laps, the second green flag lap will be the start of the race. So yeah, only 11 minutes left.
that should bring him up to fourth in class. Fourth in class.
driver's face. We, we going? How was it? You look good, warm. Hot. Mm. You look warm. Very warm. Yeah, it was good. I had um, a good start, but one of the, the cosy that was in front of me on going onto the back straight had a, had a big moment, which I kind of got, I think uh, it kind of was in front of me, so I had to slow up. And then for the rest of the lap, I ended up on the outside of everyone. So I kind of went back a few, and then once I got back in and managed to pick up, it was going all right, it's fast stuff out there. Um, but yeah, I think we improved. I don't know where we finished. You did a 2.12. Nice. So, yeah, we got in the right place. Sweet. But it's just very hot out there. Yeah, look, it hot. is absolutely baking. Yeah. Car feel good though? Yeah, I feel good. Well, some issue, but... You got some issue? Yeah, when I was, when I was slowing down, I was in the steering wheels. But I don't know whether it's a tyre, there's some pickup on, or but it, felt, it didn't feel like pickup okay. tyre. Okay. So I don't know. But it did some weird stuff, right? For the first couple of laps, you know when you inflate a tire and you get a pop? Yeah. I swear that's what kept happening. Because every now and then I go around, go around the corner, back on the straight and I get pop. Like it's come off the bead slightly and then gone back on again. Yeah. But that's what it sounded like. I don't know if that's what it was, but it's like, what the frick? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, that is us done for Saturday. Um, so yeah, we'll let the car, car fall off. Jay will go through it. And we'll be doing much what these boys and girls are doing over here, chilling out, hiding. Well, guys, so we're just looking into some issues we've got with the car we need to sort. I was a bit of a bit of steering wobble we're looking, we found that we've got a play in the wheel. But also I found on my tire that I must have accidentally driven over someone's fire retardant headwear. And it's, uh, it's stuck to my tyre. So whoever this is, very sorry, but I have it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that might be Yeah, well look. Just the bolt come loose, that's all. Right then team. So we think, well, we, Jay, <laughs> I think we found the fault. So on these two things. Go on, Jay, you explain. So that one over there was actually loose and we had play in it. So that one gave up first. So then come over to this side and the little bolt check for you went out, but it's also not tight enough. And these were copper greased, not lock tight as shown. But here is really shiny. So under a lot of load, I reckon it is pitching a bolt and bang. And, and the inside one of these cups, there is a Fred indentation, if you can get that on camera. So. so hopefully we get rid of that weird knocking noise. Yeah. And then the only thing we've got left to do is uh, chop the exhaust off. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> we get to that shortly. Yeah, so hopefully that would stop that banging noise when I'm hitting the brakes and then going into the corner, hit the brakes and then donk. So I think they're just the arms and the bolts are just moving slightly. But obviously when I come in, I sort of got the dodgy play in the steering wheel, which initially we thought was that. Um, but it turns out on my right front tyre, I don't know how well the camera picked it up, but it's got a big old bulge in one section of it. I'm guessing it's got too hot and the tyre's just collapsed on the inside. So we'll have to put the spares on um, and then the exhaust. Yeah, so all the modifications we did to the exhaust uh, have made it, have, well, have made it louder when stationary in for the sound check and all that nonsense on tracks done absolutely fuck all it's still quiet so we may for a laugh just take the back box off completely and have just whatever's left hanging out there just see if it makes more noise because you know hey why not what else you do on a race weekend apart from trying to make your car louder so we might give it a go we might see what else we can find or do some other bits but we'll keep you posted it's sunday steph <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Not at the moment, no. No. <laughs> so a nice chill. <laughs> it is half eight in the morning. Yeah. So a nice chill morning again. Um, it's been weird. We. Yeah, really weird yesterday. Wasn't it? We actually got to enjoy some racing, day drinking. It was good fun. Very nice, chilled vibe. Um, but yeah, cars pretty much up together. Rory from Project Zero Racing rocked up yesterday and uh, spotted a few little bits of the car. So we've been tinkering all night, haven't you boys? Yeah. I say all night, it was very lazy tinkering. 
Um, a bit more to do this morning. We're going to throw on some new slicks because Steph did cook some of the slicks yesterday. Yeah. Um, what else have we got to do? Empty the catch can. Oh, empty the catch can. There you go, Jay. What, what's on your list of things to do? Empty the catch can. Put the wheels back on. It's ready. Oh, actually, that was about it. Yeah, easy peasy. Easy peasy. And then, yeah, so we're racing just before lunchtime. So. Hopefully we get to watch the C1 qualifying. Uh, Club Sport trophies out as well. We're interested in that. Obviously we want to take the your Victor out and that maybe. So um, yeah, this, is, this feels really bizarre. Really bizarre that we're just just monging about really. But hey, it's, it's nice. Good to catch up with friends and have a giggle really. This can go in the new episode of Fiction Ship with Justin. Run out of things to repair now. So it's run out of things to repair. So make some chairs. The camp chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Right then, we have just been called up. The City Car Cup is currently out racing, so that is it. The assembly area is free. We are getting ready. Engine's getting going. Steph's suit and boot with his fluffy hair. No. no. Well, no, no, we've left them. Well, we left them as they are yesterday. Ready? Come in when the when the. Still, yeah, still deliberating tire yeah. pressures and shit. So. so yesterday afternoon, we took a load of information. This was when we were pissing around measuring the floor temperature. What are you pissing around with now? Yeah. Are you ready for that hot, all the spit on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> so you can knock them down one PSI if you like. Yeah, I reckon so. I take yeah. one out, yeah. All so round. The front at 21 is at 22, is at the front, yeah. bold, yeah. Another one out the front, yeah? Yeah. Leave the rear? Let's walk up a bit, innit? Yeah, leave the rear, the rear is fine. Right then. Jay's gonna bang another PSI out the front. Come and turn it on. And then we'll head down. Head down to assembly. This is it, race two. The gates are opening. Engine notes are rising. Get the GoPro started. Good luck, buddy. Shake and bake it, dude.
well.
developing their lap times in very different ways. Yes, good. Yes, good. Leave it now. Check your flags out now, anyway. So that's a real, real shame. Oh, well done, Zay. He's gone back. Right. Oh, that's a real shame. He was pushing it hard, and uh, unfortunately, um, that's how motorsport can go sometimes. Here we go. Here he is. Early bar for Stefan. Unfortunately, as you can see here. Oh, that's well and truly done. Unfortunately. Uh, oh, Steph, mate, you were doing so bloody well. Oh my god, that's hot. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Dude, that was such a good race. Well, oh, it's gone flat. Oh, no, At the bottom. Why has it gone flat? Why? Have you taken one of the bonnet pins out? No. Shook itself out. Oh. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> Dude. Fuck. Yeah, how, how was that? Yeah. Oh, awesome, fun. Fucking incredible. The battle, like, we're jostling around and all that sort of stuff. Every time we come down the start finish road, I was at the back, but the rest of the lap we were. So the onboard will be good then? And then, yeah, this this vibration thing just got worse and worse and worse until the end. I was like, mm, yeah, I, can't, I can't risk it much longer. Mate, that's me boiling. A bit too hard, eh? eh? I think you sent her a bit too hard, <laughs> eh? If you're gonna send it, fucking send it. Yeah. Jay, did you check the tire pressure? Yeah, apparently zero, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was only flat at the bottom. Yay, that's good. 
that joke never gets old. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, that's another one that's done yeah. that. Not another one! Is that the <laughs> modern mediums are not soft, maybe? Naughty boy. Oh, oh stairs. Second day. Eh? Oh, that was yeah. Rated, that was rated D land, that was, oh. wasn't it? That's literally rated pull. Oh, no dear. <laughs> well, you push the tyres a little bit. Buy, uh, buy cheap slicks, kids. Sticky, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you can't fix the tyre like that, mate. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Put some air in it, should be good to go. Disclaimer, we're not actually running that tyre. It's just all the metal bits have come out and they're bloody sharp. Oh, hang on, hang on, not with those. No, no, no. <laughs> Way, step, you got a drove Fourth slash third, apparently. Fourth slash third. <laughs> what else did you win, Steph? I got a bit of hoodie ready for the winter. You got a bit of hoodie? <laughs> Don't forget to pull the sleeves off of it, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sleeveless hoodies. Yeah. Sleeveless hoodies? <laughs> well, guys, that's the end of our weekend at Snetterton. Come away with a third place trophy. I thought we finished fourth in the first race, turns out we finished third. Uh, we would have been on for a P2 in the second race, but unfortunately we had the tyre failure, so. That stopped it from uh, almost getting any further than that. So, yeah, so that's it from the boys. We're all done, we're just backing down. Get ourselves on the way home, so we'll catch you in the next one. So, if you want to keep up to date with everything we get up to, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, give us a thumbs up, drop in the comments, and we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, lads! Goodbye, lads! <laughs> Glenn and we're going to be getting the car ready for the next race, which is going to be Brands Hatch at Four Power Live. A few things to repair from uh, Snetterton, not too much. Change the CV boots on one drive shaft because that had perished and started chucking grease everywhere. So let's move on to the upgrades. Gearbox engine mount insert.